Hi, welcome and or welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah and this is another video review filmed for the third time today. <laughs> this is for the Peter S. Beagle Essentials Collections Volume 1 and 2. Now I know that I have talked about Volume 1 on, on this channel. I don't know why I said volume that way. I know I've talked about Volume 1 on this channel a couple of times. I have made it clear. I absolutely loved that collection. And I've now finished Volume 2. I can safely say I loved that one as well. Now, Volume 2 was not as good as Volume 1. I will say that, though. There were a few stories that felt maybe a little dated. Um, the few that he really seemed to borrow from other cultures for didn't quite work very well for me. Um, they were fun, but I didn't enjoy them as much as the first one. This one did have, however, a lot of really fun stories where he takes the adventures of him and his friends as kids and turns them into these magical escapades. The best one for me of that was an adventure in which him and his friends helped stave off a black dog of death from Ireland from taking an old man till he finished writing a letter to his daughter who he was estranged from. I really loved that and I love the tone and voice that he has in so many of these stories which may be why those that were borrowed from other places he there was something missing to them. There was another really good one that I loved about backwoods dragon breeding. As someone who comes from the hills of Tennessee and may or may not have family that may or may not have or had run moonshine in the past, I really liked that story. It felt like it could happen in a fantasy version of where I live to fantasy versions of my family <laughs> and just to be clear they would not be the good guys but it was a fantastic collection so for me the second volume was fantastic as well not as good like I said as the first one not as consistently good for me but I really recommend that one as well volume one I believe comes out at the end of April, beginning of May, and I know the second one comes out in May at the very beginning. So if you like Peter S. Beagle, if you've read The Last Unicorn, even as a kid, and you want to revisit it, I would really recommend picking one of these up. You may find yourself falling in love with it. I have not read Peter S. Beagle since I was maybe nine or ten when The Last Unicorn was at my school in elementary, like elementary school, early middle school. And frankly, I don't remember any of it. So I went out on a limb with these and I am so glad that I did so. Pick these up, let me know what you think if you try it. And I am looking forward to seeing other people's reviews on these. They're fantastic little short story collections and well worth the read. But that is it for this review. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you try these. Let me know if you've even read Peter S. Beagle. These would be a great entry point as well. I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting my copies for my birthday this year. I'm very excited. <laughs> but like I said, like, comment, subscribe, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.